Hi Scorpio, welcome to your When the X Returns video for May 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Include, well, here's a couple things. All right, X's are X's for, hello, for a reason. So uh, this, of course, is at your own, your own situation at your own discretion because you'll know if this is even worth viewing if you don't care about the person. But if it's the one that got away or if they were just logistically undesirable and then they show back up, this might be worth taking a look. <laughs> uh, also, this is looking at when, not if. So this assumes that they have made contact or the contact is imminent, like you know they're coming in. And now, uh, oh, let's see, two reader shout outs. So the recommender reader shout outs are uh, Tarot by Tess and Ignatius Wallace Tree of Life Messages. Ignatius Wallace Tree of Life Messages and Tarot by Tess. So much love and support to them and check out their links in the description box below. And if you like what they have to say, perhaps you will like and share and subscribe. All right, here we go. Scorpio, when the X returns. Just FYI, I'm getting a I don't, I don't, mm, don't like it. Just saying. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. Life is good. You're able to, you're, it's like you're back on, it's like at a Wheel of Fortune vibe. Like you're back on top. Uh, you're feeling secure. You're feeling good. You're feeling in your element. And we've got change. They are trying to change something. They don't know what though. They're having a hard time. Okay. Nine of Swords, there's that hard time. The Star, that's hopeful. Ten of Cups, ouch. And the Strength, okay, this, they're not letting go. Well, sorry, they're having a hard time letting go because this was so happy before. What's this Nine of Swords about? And you're like, nope, I'm good, I'm good. What's this Nine of Swords about? Nine of Swords, yeah. They're, they're not doing well with the separation or the ending. They're conflicted um, and they it's all they can think about. They're not, they're not doing well. It's almost like they wanna, they still wanna um, perhaps have some kind of, um, you know, conflict or con, I was like controversy, controversy because they, they just want some kind of contact or, or sparring something. They, they don't like that you're just completely under yourself now. This could be man or woman. Um, this is Scorpio right here. This is Aquarius, Leo. What's this Ten of Cups about for Scorpio? What's this Ten of Cups about? Yeah. You took care of everything. <laughs> and they thought this was, I mean, they were happy. Everything was great. You took care of everything. Why wouldn't it be? You were you were nurturing to the point of being parental, um, and so their world was good. They they were happy, and it looks like they're hopeful that you two will reunite. I don't think you want that, um, but they think that being waiting and being patient and being diligent and you know being consistent is going to turn the tide here. What's this star about? What's this star card about? Two of Wands, and then we've got the Strength card here. What's that about? Strength card. This is somebody that hopes over time you will choose to be back with them, that you will change your mind, because they're they're having a difficult time with this ending. What's this Strength card about? They want to make up for, all right. So this was clearly one-sided, right? And here they are wanting to make up for that. They're wanting to come back and do the right thing. They're wanting to be honorable. This also suggests that things are in balance and that they're wanting to make up for the time that it wasn't. This this right here is um, out of balance. This is balance. So this is all about uh, things are in harmony or balance now and they want to show you that they can be a contributing partner and they want to do the right thing. But it, it's... Is it sincere or is it because they can't let go and they want this nurturing? Is it a means to an end is what I'm trying to say because I don't know. 
I don't know that any significant change has taken place. I just think that they're really missing this right here. So they're going to really, you know, they, they want to be this. I believe that they want to be this, but are they capable of it? That's the thing. All right, because they really miss this. Once again, the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, that is somebody who is a very good partner, a very good mate. They provide, um, they're consistent, they're reliable. They're anything you could ever ask for more in a partnership. This is someone that does and has it all, at least for, you know, in someone else's mind, in your person's mind. What's this right here? King of Swords. It will be up to you. If this sounds good to you, then um, okay. But again, I feel like you'll have to, you're going to have to be the one in the driver's seat providing, doing, calling the shots, and maybe you don't want that. Um, this could also be saying, get out there and get after it. Don't, don't look back. This is, this person this could be Sagittarius, could be anybody, but this person is forward moving. They don't look back. They enjoy the moment. They create, they do, they move on. They, they, um, take initiative. They take, they have a drive. They're driven. They, this is confidence and assurance. This is a natural born leader, um, passion, energy, adventure, all of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think that's what's in order for you to do here. I don't think this is about you returning back to someone who can't seem to let go. It doesn't, I don't think that there's anything left for you here. I feel like uh, if they come back in because they can't let go, that's theirs to worry about. But you are sitting pretty over here. Don't, don't mess that up by having to turn this self-sufficient energy into doing that for both of you. This is King of Wands right here. <clears throat> it's about you getting out there and getting after it. I'll tell you that. Why? Because there's this two of cups reversed. And the thing is, reversals don't happen very often. If they do, it's because I, I have shuffled the deck um, inadvertently with them reversed. But typically, I'm I'm all about the the straight cards. So for that to come up reversed, okay, that's saying something. <laughs> It will be yours to end. You'll have to take the initiative to make sure, excuse me, that they know that this is ended. <clears throat> Pardon me. And this is all about after this broken relationship, you getting out there and getting after it. Dating, being social, just doing what you want to do when you want to do it. Because there might not have been a whole lot of that prior. If we're talking about the relationship being one-sided and you being the one that kind of was doing enough for both of you. So you have a green light. You are free. Um, of course, if you do want to return to this situation, you have that choice too. This is saying that there's nothing left for you here, that you're, you've got your values misaligned now, or that it's just not a unified partnership anymore. You want different things. And there's no being in loveness about this anymore. This is how you feel right here. Yours and your own. Taking care of me and mine, so to speak. All right. Two cards for Scorpio, please. Two cards for Scorpio. Yeah, it's, it's, this is like very clearly a no-fly zone, honestly. Um, very different from the um, other readings. Because this is about an ex. The other reading were not. The other readings were about um, a new situation. All right, so Scorpio. Two cards, please. Snapshot Scorpio. All right, there's one. That's a painful breakup or ending. That's a relationship in crisis. If not already separated and ended, uh, that's a particularly challenging or bad relationship as it were. All right, two cards, please. That one jumped or fell out. Two cards, please. Wow. This is friendship, loyal, supportive, supportive um, trusting, strong, and this is interesting. So this is a, this is somebody that you might have known as a friend. Maybe this is somebody that um, will always love you, will always believe in you, will always be loyal to you. And yet it was just a very uh, passionate, positive encounter at one time. 
maybe that's what you've got coming because this is interesting. This is a dog. We've got the dog and the sun. So, hmm. This is all about companionship, loyalty, friendship, trust, you know, somebody who will be that unconditional love. They'll, there's that loyalty over the years. And this is, uh, yeah, just a hot and passionate relationship, a positive encounter, a great date, a, but it's situational. It's, it's kind of like there's this really great encounter and then on to the next thing. I'm very interested. I, this is supposed to be confirmation, so I don't know how that plays into this. I mean, maybe you two are on good terms and you're like, you know what, let's just have it for what it is. It was, we just had a good time. This feels deeper though than that. This is, we got nines and tens here and we got some major arcana. One, two, three, four. No, that's not five. One, two, three, four. So this, this is kind of heavy. This is pretty pivotal. This is somebody you've been involved with uh, before. This is, we're, you know, we're talking months or years here. So it could be that we've got this. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got this, this card flipped. Remember, we've got this relationship ending painfully. So, and then we've got this new thing coming in, probably your other readings. Cause that's what I was talking about when I was shuffling. And here we go. That somebody that you've known that's been loyal and consist not consistent, but loyal um, and just a, a presence. And they, there's this love there. And you, this is your next big adventure. So I think that's what the other readings were about, is that you finally being in a place where you could be with somebody because they were resolving their solution or their situation. And this, is, this right here is describing those. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because that's what I was talking about when I was shuffling. And then this flipped when I was talking about your situation with this person, the side. So that's, again, with the, the painful, challenging, bad relationship, that's where that needs to be cut and ended. And then we got this waiting for you, this new, hot, passionate, with somebody you've probably been waiting for this, that over time, this, this is somebody who's been loyal or steadfast, or you've been loyal or steadfast with this person. Um, you see yourself with them companionship over the years and there's a lot of passion there. There's a lot of um, chemistry with this person that you've got yet to finally um, be with, whether it's somebody that's known and familiar or it's just somebody you end up meeting that either way, this is what's ahead for you. All right. Okay, let me have a, well, there's that, that jumped, the world, so closure, this is about closure, this is about things ending, a cycle completing, All right, another card please, God bless it, this jumped, seven of wands, being in an advantageous position and guarding your position, so while this might be conflict for that person, this right here is you going, nope, none shall pass, I'm going to be nice. I understand, you know, that, okay, I can be nice, but at, at some point I have to say no firmly and I'm shutting the door and I'm not answering the phone or the text or the door anymore. So it's like, you need to listen to me because this is over and you need to accept that. And I, at, at some point I cannot be part of the process of you healing or getting over me anymore. Like I can't help with that. I got things to do and people to see and people to do and things to see. All right. One card, please, for confirmation. As if this wasn't already, right? King of Cups. Guard your emotions. This could be a Pisces. Scorpio or Cancer. But this is all about guarding your emotions and making decisions. Um, being in a position to be able to make decisions. We got the King of Sword or Wands here also. This is about making those executive decisions about your life. And keeping your emotions, while being compassionate, keeping your emotions out of it. All right. Tarot dice. For Scorpio. Okay, so this is the six of coins reversed. And this is the strength reversed. So this would suggest that it was one side. So we've got the strength here and the six of coins here upright. And we've got six of coins and strength reversed up here as far as what you need to know. And that is that this relationship was one-sided. 
and it was not built on a solid foundation. Um, it was probably not very stable and much of your energy went in trying to balance and align with this person on a continual basis, which is to say you were always picking up the pieces. So this situation right here is better left un undone, unsaid, and you get to move on to this. That's what this is about right here, moving on to this. So this is somebody that doesn't, um, that kind of dates, that doesn't really settle down, and I, I gather that after this you might feel like you want to, but it just so happens that there is somebody that's been kind of um, waiting for you or wanting to be with you that it looks like you have a great, uh, it's like you have trustworthiness and passion. So, you know, win-win. But this could be um, this person that you do get together with. For those of you that the other readings weren't resonating with, this could be somebody that comes out of the woodworks that you didn't know that is, has been a longtime friend or somebody that you've known for quite some time that has always been uh, loyal and compassionate and just a good uh, companion, which is a friend, right? That you end up taking it to the next level and having a lot of chemistry with and, you know, physical relations and all that. So, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. Well, Scorpio, that's, um, I hope, I hope this works out for you, honestly. I, I'm sorry for your person because they're not doing well with the ending, but I do hope that you are able to get out there and get after it because it seems like you haven't gotten your needs met in quite some time, if we're being honest. So I hope that you are very, um, I hope you you get yours. Let's <laughs> just say it that way. Um, I wish you luck with this. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.